Hello dear students, in this session we are going to learn series combination of capacitors. That means we are going to learn how to find equivalent capacitance when the capacitors are connected in series. Let us suppose that C1, C2 and C3 are the three capacitors which are connected in series. V1 is the potential across C1, V2 is the potential across C2 and V3 is the potential across C3. If this combination is converted into an equivalent circuit, say Cs is the equivalent capacitance. The total potential difference across the series combination of capacitors, let it be V. Now, since the capacitors are connected in series, charge on each capacitor plate is same. Now, according to the diagram, we can write V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. V1 plus V2 plus V3. Okay. Now, what is V1? We'll write. Okay. From the equation, Q is equal to C into V. We know that V is equal to Q by C. Okay. Therefore, we'll write an equation for V1. What is V1? Okay. V1 is equal to Q by C1. Similarly, V2 is equal to Q by C2. Similarly, V3 is equal to Q by C3. Now, this is one important step now. Now, this st step is very important. Okay. If Cs, if Cs is the equivalent capacitance of the combination is equivalent, equivalent capacitance capacitance of the combination of the combination then this sentence you have to write in the examination then what is v v is equal to q by cs v is equal to q by cs okay now we know what is v1 okay we know what is v2 we know what is V3 and also we know what is V. Okay. <clears throat> so therefore what we will do? Let me name this as e equation as some star. Okay. Now equation star implies star implies V is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3 or Q by Cs is equal to Q by C1 plus Q by C2 plus Q by C3. Now Q is common, correct now. So what happens? Q by C S is equal to Q into Q into 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. That Q and Q gets cancelled. So 1 by C S is equal to 1 by C S is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. So this is the equation. Derivation is over. Okay. Now in general, if there are n capacitors if there are n number of capacitors n capacitors then what happens 1 by cs is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 and so on up to 1 by cn okay. here the derivation is completely over now some additional points related to this Additional points. If if n capacitors, if n capacitors of equal capacitance, equal capacitance C are connected, connected in series. Then, then what happens? Then 1 by Cs will be equal to 1 by C plus 1 by C and so on up to 1 by C n times. Correct now. So that, that will be equal to 1 by Cs is equal to n times 1 by C or taking reciprocal. Okay. 
cs is equal to c by n cs is equal to c by n this is one shortcut okay if c1 and c2 if the capacitors c1 and c2 are connected in series connected in series then what happens 1 by cs is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 that is equal to c1 plus c2 divided by c1 c2 or cs is equal to c1 c2 divided by c1 plus c2 this is a shortcut you can use it for example say there are two capacitors okay so one capacitor has capacitance 2 microfarad another has capacitance 2 microfarad okay now what is the equivalent capacitance since these are connected in series equivalent capacitance is c1 into c2 divided by c1 plus c2 so what happens 2 into 2 is 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1 and also see here there are these two are two equal capacitors now connected in series so therefore cs is equal to c by 2 what is c c is equal to 2 2 by 2 is equal to 1 we can use this formula also okay 